Okay guys, now we move on to section 2 and in section 2 we have multiple choice where out of 5 you have to select 2 options. Uh, sometimes it's quite confusing. Let me tell you there are 2 parts of it, 2 important parts. The first important part is the question. Let's read it together. 11 and 12. Which 2 activities that volunteers do are mentioned? Now two things two traps are here trap number one something that volunteers don't do right whatever they say volunteers don't do that is a trap trap number two some activities they don't even mention okay so whatever uh, they don't mention that is a trap activities that volunteers do are mentioned so what volunteers do not do that can be a trap okay so you got to focus now what are the things? Decorating. Never expect that in the audio they will use the word decorating. For decorating, they might use the word painting the walls, right? Or putting something, curtains and all that, or hanging the pictures so that the room looks nice. Decorating. Next, cleaning. For cleaning, they may use the word mopping, right? Or washing the floor. That is all cleaning. Anything, washing the dishes, washing the floor and all that, that is cleaning. So they will use synonyms. Uh, delivering meals. Now, if they are, talk about cooking meal, is that delivering meal? No, that's a trap. So you got to just see delivering meal. For delivering meal, they may use the word deliver the meal at the workplace or something like that. Shopping. For shopping, they might use the word buying things buying grocery volunteers do volunteers can buy grocery to someone who is unable to go outside or something like that next is child care for child care they may use the word babysitting they may use the word take care of children okay now listen they will talk about these options but in any order never expect that first they will say decorating yes or no then they will say cleaning yes or no they may start from child care, then they go on to decorating, then they come to another one. So your pencil should be on the right side, not on the left side where A, B, C is. Because if your pencil is on the left side, you will first, your eyes will look at A, then the option. But if your pencil is on the right side, you will see decorating, cleaning, delivering meals, shopping, child care. Clear? So this is what you need to do with all multiple choice questions. Never put your pencil on the left side where you see A, B, C, D. Rather, it's a good idea to hide A, B, C, D and then first see what they are talking about and all that. Now, you will focus two activities that volunteers do and those things are mentioned here. Let's take a start. Now, I'm playing two questions together and you will tell me the answer like B, C or C, D or B, D like that. Okay, let's do it. Good morning. My name is Lucy Crittenden. And I'm the Director of Operations for an organisation that arranges volunteering in this part of the country. I'm hoping I can persuade one or two of you to become volunteers yourselves. Let me start by briefly explaining what we mean by volunteering. Volunteers are teenagers and adults who choose to spend some time unpaid helping other people in some way. Most volunteers devote two or three hours to this every week while a few do much more. The people they help may have physical or behavioural difficulties, for example. Volunteers can do all sorts of things, depending on their own abilities and interests. If they're supporting a family that's struggling, for example, they may be able to give them tips on cooking, or recommend how to plan their budget, or how to shop sensibly on their income. They might even do some painting or wallpapering, perhaps alongside any members of the family who are able to do it. Or even do some babysitting, so the parents can go out for a while. A N E. Well done. A. Decorating for that, yeah, painting, wallpaper, all that. And for delivering meals, they talked about cooking. They did not mention delivering meals. And not for shopping, they said something else for that, right? And then child care, for that they use the word babysitting. I play the audio again, listen carefully. And by the way, 
the audio continued for a very long time and then she came to the point the sort of things volunteer can do or the sort of things volunteer can do so then there is the answer okay the first few seconds of the audio they are general then they come to the point so i play it again for you good morning my name is lucy crittenden and i'm the director of operations for an organization that arranges volunteering in this part of the country I'm hoping I can persuade one or two of you to become volunteers yourselves. Let me start by briefly explaining what we mean by volunteering. Volunteers are teenagers and adults who choose to spend some time unpaid helping other people in some way. Most volunteers devote two or three hours to this every week, while a few do much more. Okay. Audio went on for 35 seconds and they did not say anything about any of the options. So you need to wait patiently when the answer comes. Now listen. The people they help may have physical or behavioral difficulties, for example. Volunteers can do all sorts of things. Now, volunteers can do all sorts of things. Now you'll focus. Depending on their own abilities and interests. If they're supporting a family that's struggling, for example, they may be able to give them tips on cooking or recommend how to plan their budget. They may be able to give them tips. Now, only tips on cooking and how to manage their budget and all that. That's not what the volunteers do. They only give tips, right? Let's go on. Or how to shop sensibly on their income. They might even do some painting or wallpapering. But they might do some painting or wallpapering. Now, painting and wallpapering is decorating. And they said they might do. So, giving tips on painting and wallpapering and doing painting and wallpapering, they are two different things. So, A is the answer. Clear? Now, let's go on. Perhaps alongside any members of the family who are able to do it. Or even do some babysitting. So the parents can go out for a while. Or even can do babysitting so that parents can go out for a while. So you want to become a uh, babysitter volunteer? I have a child who is shopping and all that. Okay? All right. Or you have a baby say, Allah, like that. Let's go on. So the right answer is A, E. On your answer sheet for question number 11, you should write A. Question number 12, you will write E. But even if you write 11E, 12A, that is also right. But I would advise you to follow the same arrangement. Okay, let's go on. Questions 13 and 14. Choose two letters. Which two ways that volunteers can benefit from volunteering are mentioned? Two ways volunteers can benefit from volunteering. Two ways. So there are five ways, but two ways are mentioned. A. Learning how to be part of a team. So learning part of team. B. Having a sense of purpose. Underline purpose. Sense of purpose. C. Realizing how lucky they are. So realizing how lucky. D. Improved ability at time management. Improved ability or ability time management. Uh, e. Boosting their employment prospects. Now, by the way, all these options are starting with verbs. Like you see, learning, having, realizing. But most important words in A are part of a team. B. Sense of purpose. C. How lucky they are. D. Time management. E. Employment prospects. Like they can write it on their CV and all that, right? For all these options, they will use synonyms. So the question is, which two ways that volunteers can benefit? So they will mention this is how volunteers can benefit. Although some volunteers think they can do this and get benefit, but actually there is no benefit of that. That's a trap. So two benefits will be the right answer. Let's do it. The benefit from volunteering isn't only for the people being helped. Volunteers also gain from it. They're using their skills to cope with somebody's mental or physical ill health. And volunteering may be a valuable element of their CV when they're applying for jobs. 
Employers usually look favorably on someone who's given up time to help others. Significantly, most volunteers feel that what they're doing gives them a purpose in their lives. And in my opinion, they're lucky in that respect, as many people don't have that feeling. <laughs> this thing lucky C, they linked lucky with B. When you have a sense of purpose in life, you have a feeling, so you are lucky. Now, actually, they did not define to be lucky as a separate part. Like, for example, if I say you have Canadian visa, you are lucky. So lucky goes to Canadian visa. That's how they say. Now, what, are, what is the right answer? B and C, you said. C is the same, realizing how lucky you are. Okay, the right answer is B for boy, E for elephant. For B for boy, having a sense of purpose, at the end they spoke about it and then they said you are lucky that you have this feeling that you have a sense of purpose. And then for E, they use the word CV. You can put these things on your CV and all that. Now I play the audio again, listen to it. The benefit from volunteering isn't only for the people being helped. Volunteers also gain from it. They're using their skills to cope with somebody's mental or physical ill health. And volunteering may be a valuable element of their CV when they're applying for jobs. CV when they're applying for jobs, employment prospects. Employment prospect, prospects means element on their CVs when they're applying for jobs, so it's E. Employers usually look favorably on someone who's given up time to help others. Significantly, most volunteers feel that what they're doing gives them a purpose in the What they're doing gives them a purpose. That is option B, having a sense of purpose. What they are doing gives them a sense of purpose. Their lives. And in my opinion, they're lucky in that respect. They're lucky in that respect that they have a sense of purpose. So the answer is B for boy and E for elephant. Okay, let's go on. Don't be quiet. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the flats where you are going to rent or live in, they, these flats are waiting. The chocolate bar which you are going to eat is waiting after two years, after three years, after whatever, okay? Yeah? Exactly. The Nike shoes you are going to buy, they are waiting for you. Factory mein ban gaye. The car you are going to drive is waiting for you. I'm driving a 2010 model car and in 2010, I could never even think of buying that car. In 2021, I'm driving that car. Okay? So all the things which are going to take place, they are waiting for you. It is for you to go and grab them. So if you don't go, then someone else will buy that car, eat that chocolate, buy that pair of shoes, and you will be here. Okay? So be careful, right? All the things are there. It is for you to go and get them. Okay, questions 15 to 20. Now, we have another question type. We call it matching. There are options A to C, uh, sorry, A to G, and then we have questions. And questions contain the names of people. So please don't read the questions. Okay, in the audio, they will name all of them one by one. Do not waste your time by reading questions. If the questions contain names of people, parts of the presentation, names of the cities, like that. Now, let's see what is the question. Uh, questions 15 to 20. What has each of the following volunteers helped someone to do? Volunteer and help someone to do. For example, Asad Yaqub helped someone cross the road. Right? Another name, what is it that person did? So those activities what volunteers have helped people to do, they are given A to G. In the audio, they will not use exact words. They will use synonyms. Let's see what that is. A. Overcome physical difficulties. Now, physical difficulty can be someone is handicapped. Someone cannot walk. Someone cannot see. So, overcome physical difficulties will be paraphrased in the audio. Just keep it in mind. B. Rediscover skills not used for a long time. Someone used to do something in her or his young age 
and then the volunteer helped him or her to do it again okay so rediscover skills focus skills not used for a long time option c improve their communication skills for this they may use the word communication the how to talk how to talk to people how to deliver presentations how to communicate or anything related to talking that will be the answer here d solve problems independently how to overcome the problems without anybody's help independently means without anybody's help and solve means solution way forward could be as we did solution essay so escape isolation isolation means when you are alone escape isolation to come out of loneliness isolation means loneliness escape means avoid loneliness and all that f remember past times so recall past times reminisce old memories right so what other word we use if someone is thinking about past i am nostalgic you know when you are nostalgic you are missing your past in the past this happened and all that g start a new hobby a new hobby can be painting drawing cooking and all that now let's see habib all right we got habib here so let's see what is what is it that habib did and by the way your left hand will be on questions and your right hand will be towards the options and you'll move around uh, and one more thing if it is difficult to come back to 15 and after habib you write a b c d it's a good idea to write 15 with the option for example for question number 15 right answer is escape isolation so after escape isolation you can write 15 15 means the answer of question number 15 is this so this is how you have actually marked it anyways let's take a start question number 15 now i'd like to tell you what some of our volunteers have said about what they do to give you an idea of the range of ways in which they can help people habib supports an elderly lady who's beginning to show signs of dementia once a week they along with other elderly people go to the local community center where a group of people come in and sing The songs take the listeners back to their youth and for a little while they can forget the difficulties that they face now. The songs take them to the time of their youth. Right? A is overcome physical difficulties. I advise you to listen to it again. Now I'd like to tell you what some of our volunteers have said about what they do. to give you an idea of the range of ways in which they can help people habib supports an elderly lady who's beginning to show signs of dementia once a week they along with other elderly people go to the local community center where a group of people come in and sing the songs take the listeners back to their youth and for the songs take the listeners back to their youth back to their youth means to their past So remember past times f is the right answer. Now you may argue ha huh, remember past times and back to their youth acha so you need to just find it okay so for question number 15 f is the right answer and by the way one option will be used once only so you may even cross f if you want to Next is Consuela Now let's see what is it that Consuela did or does. A volunteer Consuela is an amazing woman. She has difficulty walking herself, but she doesn't let that stop her. She helps a couple of people with similar difficulties who had almost stopped walking altogether. By using herself as an example, Consuela encourages them to walk more and more. A overcome a physical uh, overcome physical difficulties so she herself has got this problem and she motivates people to walk more and more that is why A will be the right answer for question number 16 now we have 17 min let's see min visits a young man who lives alone and can't leave his home on his own so he hardly ever saw anyone 
but together they go out to the cinema or to see friends the young man hadn't been able to visit for a long time. Who lives alone, escape isolation, exactly, option E. I play it again if you're looking at me with question mark, huh? Min visits a young man who lives alone. And visits a young man who lives alone. So from alone you understand it can be isolation. Can't leave his home on his own. So he hardly ever saw anyone. But together... He hardly ever saw anyone. Means he's in his isolation. But together... They go out to the cinema. They go out to the cinema and all that. So the answer is... E. Escape isolation. Together they go out to the cinema. Question number 18, Tanya. Now let's see. Tanya visits an elderly woman once a week. When the woman found out that Tanya is a professional dressmaker, she got interested. Tanya showed her some soft toys she'd made and the woman decided to try it herself. And now she really enjoys it and spends hours making toys. They're not perhaps up to Tanya's standard yet, but she gains a lot of pleasure from doing it. Start a new hobby and that is making soft toys. Right? She's taught her and now she makes soft toys. She spends hours and hours making soft toys. So soft toys is a hobby. Okay, that's good. Let's go on. Next is Alexi. Alexi is a volunteer with a family that faces a number of difficulties. By calmly talking over possible solutions with family members, he's helping them to realise that they aren't helpless and that they can do something themselves to improve their situation. This has been great for their self-esteem. Exactly. Solve problems independently. For problems, they use the word difficulties and then solve and all that. Okay, question number 20, Juba. And the last volunteer I'll mention, though there are plenty more, is Juba. She volunteers with a teenage girl with learning difficulties who wasn't very good at talking to other people. Juba's worked very patiently with her and now the girl is far better at expressing herself and at understanding other people. Expressing herself, understanding other people, talking difficulties. So that is C, improve their communication skills. Okay, so this is how they reword or redefine. You got to find it.